Welcome to Channel Way Make your insight to this room, Visa system. Good day, everyone. My name is Carl Young, your online YouTube Visa consultant. Are you interested about migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell on the side? So once we have all the updates and news, be the first one getting all the inside. Now, just like today, uh, we a uh, couple minutes ago, I just received this uh, uh, email about the news that the uh, the state of Victoria has uh, decided to open its 2023 and 24 skill nomination program. So let's jump in there and have a look. Despite that, there has been a 70% cut under state nomination, but it's still open. Let's see what the criteria that they offer. Okay, now uh, the first thing first, um, I would like to show you the email that I just received uh, a couple of minutes ago, actually an hour. Uh, but anyway, it's just very, very recent. And, and that's the uh, differences of my channel compared to a lot of other channels that uh, I always wanted to keep things updated. Okay, now obviously you have seen the uh, live in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia skill and business migration. And this is definitely today, 12th of September 2023. Victoria skill migration is now open. Uh, so the open application living in Victoria and overseas. So uh, just to let you know, if you live not living in Victoria, you live in New South Wales, Queensland or South Australia, I'm sorry, you are not available for the Victoria because it's only strictly saying for living in Victoria or overseas. Okay, the program provides skilled migrants with a pathway to permanent residency in Victoria. So there are two options there. So pretty obvious is 190 that you get straight into permanent residency and 491 that's uh, in regional Victoria that you get five years of uh, temporary visa and you transfer into a permanent residency after three years. Now, there is a live information session, uh, which uh, it's going to be on Friday. But look, I'm going to go through all that today. So you don't have to wait until Friday, but that's going to be 22nd September. That's so far away. I'm not too sure why this is actually be set 10 days after the actual announcement. So the changes, let's have a look at a little um, a brief on this. It's pretty good that we understand everything straight away from one screenshot. So the skill work regional visa 491 changes to be eligible that uh, the nomination in 2023 and 24, the unsure applicant must be living and working in regional Victoria. We're going to go into and see the actual criteria there. Uh, and there's, there are some outer suburbs of Melbourne are included in the regional zone by Department of Home Affairs. So uh, we will, uh, you, you would like to check that out with the postcodes. Uh, so there's a little bit of a change, but I don't think there's going to be a massive change there. As a result of this change, if you submitted uh, 491 ROI, make sure that uh, for the state of Victoria, you need to do EOI and then you put a registration of interest ROI. So uh, th that's the difference. So remember, we, we talked about Queensland, you put an e EOI and then you put an online form. Okay. So same thing okay uh if you submit um <clears throat> 491 roi 2022 and 23 and were not selected you will need to submit a new roi so the old one dump it don't worry about it but it's different for 190 i'm not too sure why they do that let's have a little re up about this now there are no changes of subclass 190 so the only changes for 491 in victoria is there are some additional suburbs that's what I read here, uh, but there is actually no changes. That means it stays the same with 2022 and 23. Now, from my memory, I recall uh, the state of Victoria, they is basically following the standards of the skill migration. So there's not actually whatever the pathway it is, there's nothing. But we're going to go in there, have a look, okay? Uh, if we submit a 190 uh, ROI, no, I, I'm not too sure why they put registration of interest. One, not just ROI in 2022 and 23, and were not selected. You do not, you do not read this right. You do not need to submit a new ROI unless information provider has changed. 
Okay. In addition to EOI, please check your partner's points and annual salary respond to existing ROI. So that's basically a selection round. A ROI is not an application Victoria nomination. The program is very competitive. There's no set of time frame when you will be selected because we learn that there has been a 70% cut on the state nomination um, quarter or placements uh, your ROI you will remain in our system until withdrawn or selected the program will close in early read this right early 2024 so if you don't get selected probably a new uh, system will kick in okay now jumping to the actual uh, state website so you can see on the top left the 2023-24 skill migration program is now open so that is different than the previous now the state nomination visa 190 who can apply it basically tells you the uh, very generic stuff you need to put a EOI under 45 get a competent English you get a skill assessment under uh, all the eligible skill occupations so there is no specific occupation list for the state of Victoria but the uh, the 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 opening of this nomination is only until early 2024 so there's a limitation on the numbers how to apply you put an EOI and put an ROI so I'm not gonna go through that again uh, what you will need you need all the documentations once you've been nominated uh, then you basically once you you get notified and you got 60 days to lodge your visa uh, not selected in 2023 and 20 uh, 22 and 23 you don't need to withdraw we have gone through that already so I've click on this uh, subclass 190 supporting <clears throat> information let's have a little read uh, as there is no change uh, you will require to show that if you really if if so that's a if uh, you don't need to be there okay if you're living in victoria and claiming annual earning in your ror you must support the claim so that means pay slips individual tax return and so on so for employment contract uh and you find information on annual earning estimation guideline there living offshore so if you're not in victoria uh, but definitely not in New South Wales or Queensland or anywhere else in Australia. You must commit it to living uh, Victoria. You will need to have a skill assessment. Well, all the applicants will need a skill assessment. Uh, further eligibility requirements or so skill assessment in the occupation list. Put an ROI in. You're going to be under 45, come to English points at least 65. So that's all the basic standards. For general general skill migration and commit to Victoria, your nomination obligation. Well, this is a little bit long. This is a declaration form. Basically, declare that you will live in Victoria and so on and so forth. Uh, and not gonna go through all the nitty gritty on the terms and conditions and things like that anyway. So that's for one nine zero. So it's exactly the same as 2023 and 23. The only differences here is you don't need to renew your ROI if there's nothing change if there's a change you need to renew it uh, and uh, the the limitation on the quarter so it only closes in early 2024 so how many months we got it's, it's September October November December and perhaps January so it's only less than six months of nomination see how that goes okay now let's jump into the uh, 491 so again there is not much of differences but there is a, a designated uh, regional area changes there you may want to look now this is about the same so who can apply how to apply onshore applicant and the uh, offshore applicant uh, so there's only differences is, is whether or not you're living and working in Victoria now or you are all offshore so I click on this providing information oops let's go into this one first uh, your work so if you're in regional Victoria you need to demonstrate onshore applicant if you're living uh, earning uh, and you need to show that you have been working in regional Victoria uh, and living <clears throat> onshore and not working Victoria and not working the skill employment you are not working in the skill employment you cannot claim the annual earning this is actually the section in the ROI that you need to put it in and they tell you that if you're not if you're working a non-skill employment uh, you enter uh, double zero double zero there so four zeros okay and living offshore you cannot claim that's fine safe haven uh, I'm not gonna go through on that one because that's for the safe haven visa subclass 790 uh, you need to get skill assessment so uh, the further eligibility this is ex exactly the same as what we have gone through for 190 so I'm not gonna repeat that 
nomination obligation is the same terms and condition is the same so overall it's basically the same as previous the only changes here is the designated area so if we go into the uh postcode um not too sure which is the new one but uh let's have a look at there you may want to search on this one so uh there is some changes i believe in the victoria section there uh you may want to have a little read about uh, which area has been uh, included for as uh, a regional victoria anyway that's for the uh, state nomination of Victoria 2023-24. Should you have more questions, query more than one, come to leave comment right down below. And I'll see you next video. Goodbye.